I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. What is going on, Ben Nation? Thank you so much for tuning in. The markets have really started to rip, really started to soar, and Ben's been the beneficiary of that in some small way. Now, a lot of these tokens are, are really, really having this rip, but Ben, every single day, seems to have been uh, making that move from $39.99 as the low, uh, I want to say, down uh, or up to $83.59. So over a 100% increase from that bottom floor. Now, when we talked before, I told you that we had probably uh, or were probably going to encounter some resistance around 8500 And guess what? We encountered the resistance at 8500 However, it's looking pretty good still. Uh, and we're, we're still awaiting you know, some kind of um, something uh, as a catalyst that will move things along. And that's coming very soon. So if you like this content, make sure, by the way, that you hit the like button, subscribe button, then the bell to be notified. But let's check it out and let's see what the charts tell us and uh, see where we are. So as you can see, we've had that move. Uh, these are the old lines that we put up here a long time ago. Uh, it looks like we're sitting in the perfect spot. Look, the next level of resistance is going to be dropping that zero. So very soon, there's going to be a party to drop the zero, and it'll come out of nowhere, uh, and it won't take very long, by the way. It's going it's gonna, to uh, gonna really, really, really uh, start ripping from there. So uh, looking forward to seeing that happen. Uh, on the broader chart over here, you can see we just really kind of touched the 20 MA on the 15 minute, uh, zooming out the 30 minute. You can see right here again, just kind of bouncing on that 20. Uh, same thing for the one hour. Uh, what we're not looking to do is fall down into some of these lower time frames here or the 50 or the 100, I mean. Uh, and then on the 40, uh, four hour, this is where the retracement comes into play. Right now, you're looking at about 78. Um, what you would like to see most optimally would be a bounce right there uh, and then on until morning or dawn or whatever they say. Uh, then uh, you're looking at one of those next highs up here around 10, 888, somewhere right in this range right here is where we just wicked off of, if you will. Uh, and then the next range is going to be right up in this little zone uh, of uh, about 1100, four zeros, 11. Uh, is going to be about the range that we're looking to to hit into the next time we we do this. So hopefully this continues on. Feels like it's going to continue on. And in fact, news wise, which I still can't share, uh, but we're getting close. Uh, but news wise, there should really be some kind of uh, catalyst that's going to take us up and propel us to this range. Now, what we're really looking for, at, at a very minimum, I think for for most people is about a thousand points from where we are right now as a good start for to make people feel better because that's going to be kind of where we were when we launched right because right now we're trading at uh five zeros 8365 but up here it's four zeros 1959 19519 that'll be a good spot to to kind of lead off the 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 start of the recovery if you will that'll only be about uh i want to say 15 million market cap yeah it's, it's only gonna be about a 15 million market cap not that much in the grand scheme of things uh, maybe, maybe closer to 20, but that's not going to be much. So it looks like we're on the path. All we have to do is maintain this momentum. As you guys have seen, uh, the news has been positive. We've kind of been uh, maintaining in our favor. So, you know, we should see something pretty good uh, over on Join Ben Coin. Uh, no announcement yet, but we're waiting for that next move. Uh, and then Ben uh, is out here uh, still fighting the good fight for you guys. And, uh, you know, there's a lot happening here. But of course, there's a lot happening in the new network. Now, the, the one thing that we want to address in closing is this. Ben made a post now uh, because we were talking about this before. I was told by multiple people at Hit Network that they returned my bearded dragon Gary to the pet store he was bought from. Uh, he was loaded into a vehicle with his tank and driven away. The pet store has no record of a returned bearded dragon. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to share because I also uh, followed up to make sure. And at this point, we haven't heard anything about it. And uh, if you want to see... Uh, how uh, desperate they are. They've now blocked me. Um, so let's, you know, tag, uh, if we will, we'll put some more stuff out here. We'll tag them. We'll, you know, find out where is Gary? Like, what did you do? Like, you, uh, 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 like you guys are this callous that you would do this to a pet. We'll tag Pete in it, you know, see what, see what happens here because it's really getting crazy here. That something so simple as a bearded dragon, guys, something as simple as a bearded dragon is giving, Lady frame, some grief. Something as simple as Ben's child's 
YouTube channel is giving this guy grief. This is bonkers and this is crazy. And in fact, if you look at the video that I'm talking about, that I'm referring to where he said all these things like the, uh, you know, his, his son never asked for the channel. Not true. Even the son said it. Um, and, and as far as the bearded dragon, we returned him to the store. Uh, you know, it's full of lies, full of lies. But um, you know what? Don't watch it again. You don't need to waste your time on it. Just remember to be very careful. Uh, this guy. Oh, by the way, he did say that uh, Ben could at any time just have the BitBoy name back because they archived it. Haven't seen anything there either. So, uh, guys, just share this video. Make sure that people know where is Gary. Uh, that's what we're. That's the question that we're asking right now. So, um, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.